Hello everyone. So in today's video, we are going to look at how to make a data fitting using Junoplot. So just for the record, you know, when you want to do a data fit, uh, you do not necessarily uh, limit yourself to Junoplot only. You can use any kind of uh, uh, other available softwares, for example, Octave, uh, MATLAB, or any kind of uh, statistical tools that you may have access to. Uh, but here I'm going to talk about GNU plot because I, I do uh, plots, I plot my, my, my diagrams, you know, using GNU plot a lot. And that is why I'm going to limit myself to this. So the, mo the, the, the motivation, right, for me to do this video is to use it as a guide for uh, first and second year physics students in, in my department. Um, when they do experiments okay so when you do experiments uh, most of the time you will have to make a plot so but sometimes you know people try to do a plot based on intuition only uh, what i meant is that they look at the data and they kind of like uh, uh, you know you kind of like um, feel this is the best line and you just draw it but this is not the most uh, not the best way to do the fit so this is what the, the video is going to be is going to be. Uh, we are going to see how to fit this data. But uh, here we are going to look at the situation where you know exactly the, the equation to be fitted. So let's go on to the next slide and you will have a better picture of what I'm talking about. So here the scenario. Uh, the scenario that we are talking about is uh, here you are going to uh, measure a quantity which is plotted on the y-axis so right so right you, you measure a quantity uh, based on what is x so let's say for example x um as x is a certain quantity let's say you, you x is equals to one and when you know x equals to one you are going to measure y and say let's say y is about this value right so now you have a series of x and a series of y values and then you are you are going to find what is g. So supposedly the equation that relate y to x is given by this uh, y equals to g over 2x. And um, what you are, what you need to do is to actually make a plot, right? You 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 have all these points, and then you want to determine what is g. And uh, if you know some uh, some idea on how to how to process this data, you will immediately know that. Uh, you will find g based on the slope of the graph right so basically you have a linear linear line you have a linear line and then you find the slope of the graph and you and then from the slope of the slope of the graph you will you will find what is g uh, but then again like i mentioned just now what is the best fit line right so some people they will use centroid and they kind of like adjust themselves and try to find the, the best fit line and they will have something like this okay but um, this is not the best way, as I mentioned earlier, and we are going to use a, a genu plot to make this uh, best fit line. Okay, so now this is the interface of a genu plot, uh, which I have installed on my Windows 10 uh, laptop. Um, now, uh, what I've done in, in these two lines is to basically change the directory of my, uh, of my, to where, you know, to where my, my file is. Okay, so in order to make a GNU plot, you'll need first to put, uh, or to create a data file. So let me just show you here. This is my data file, which I call it as data underscore one dot txt. Um, and you, you will see these three columns over here. So this is my X column on the far left. The second column is my Y value. And the third column is my arrow bar for my Y axis, right? So, my, so for any measurements that you do, you will have an arrow bar for your Y uh, or X sometimes, right? So, uh, but here we are, we are going to ignore the, the arrow bar first and we are just going to concentrate on how to make a plot so um, yeah so we will we will plot this data and uh, how I do my plot is I'm going to write my uh, GNU plot code in the file and then I load it so this is my GNU plot file um, this is this this is uh, no problem at the first part here this is just to reset and unset all the previous label uh, then I'm just going to set my terminal to Windows um, and then this I determines the size of the plot. So this is um, not not so important. 
So what is important now is to go to the next part here. So here I'm going to set the range for my y-axis and this is to set the range for my x-axis. So my x-axis uh, in the previous data here it goes from 1 to 10 and the y-axis is going from uh, 10 to 108. So what I do is I, I make a, I limit my, my x and y-axis from 0 to 11 and 0 to 120. Um, this uh, x ticks is to basically define how many uh, how many small ticks that I want in the x-axis, uh, and this is for the minor ticks, right? Okay, so now let's go to the to the uh, fitting, right? So we have already discussed that uh, we know the the equation to be fitted, right? So we want to have a linear uh, linear line. So I, now I, I, I'm going to define the equation as uh, h. So h uh, is the function uh, which depends on x alone. So in this case, we have only one variable that is x. And then a and b is the uh, unknown that we want to find, right? Uh, and if you remember from the previous uh, example, we are talking about an equation which is given by y equals to g over 2x. So basically, I don't have to put this b, right? So this b is unnecessary. But uh, we'll just leave it here. So the whole point is I want to find what is a and what is b that best fit to my, that gives the best fit to my data, right? So the next comment is to write the fit uh, hx. Uh, we want to fit this equation. Uh, based on the data file that is the data underscore one dot txt uh, using so one and two so the, you, if you look at this one uh, semicolon two is to is to say that uh, my x is going to take the values that is in the uh, first column and the y is going to take the value of the um, second column right so in this case this is uh, this two this is going to be my h right? And then via A, B, so via A, B uh, is basically going to find what is A1 and what is B. And then I'm going to plot this function, right? So once they have finished uh, finding what is A and B, and they will plot this. Uh, and the last uh, command over here is just to show you that, uh, that the plot, uh, the, the data the data uh, that I have obtained in the previous file in points, right? So. Again, you see a uh, replot uh, this data file name using one and two again with points uh, and then no title. So let's uh, execute this genuplot code now. So how I going how I'm going to uh, execute it is to write uh, load. So well, let me see. So the name of my file is fit underscore data one dot plt dot txt right. So uh, so I'm going to put a, a comma, double comma in in the for the name of the file, and then I'm going to press enter. And here it is. Uh, this is the data that I have uh, fitted. So here you see this is my this is my uh, equation. Okay. So uh, this is my best fit line. So you know uh, this this best fit line is obtained by uh, by using a equals to 10.1576 and b equals to 0 0.93333. Okay, so uh, so that is how you you make a fit, right? Now uh, now let us just uh, make a slight change to the to the equations because just now we mentioned we there is no b in the previous example, so. Let's just uh, throw away the b and we just keep uh, h equals to ax. So we will throw this a away. And now we are going to repeat the same uh, uh, command. And here you see this is uh, my best fit line. There is a slight difference because here you see it goes through uh, zero because we are basically what we have done when we throw the b away is to fix the b equals to zero so that's why you that's why you have you see that this is going through exactly x equals to zero y equals to zero right uh, so in this case uh, my a is going to be equals to 10.29099 so there is a slight difference in 
in this a value uh, with and without the b okay so uh, so yep yeah, so that this is uh, how you you do a fit a very simple fit for a linear line um, and um, to find what is g after this is to basically use my a because this a is going to be the slope of my line and i'm going to take g over 2 equals to a and g is equals to twice of this value All right so i i hope this uh, gives you an uh, idea of how to make a fit okay this is a very simple fit uh, but um, what you should know is to is to navigate through all this um the 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 way you you write the command for the for the Gnu plot, which is not too difficult, right? So you, if you are not comfortable with comfortable with Gnu plot, you can use any other software that you are comfortable with. And the whole point of the of the exercise is to, uh, is to tell you that um, in order to find a quantity that is uh, that is obtained through the plot, you must have you must do uh, uh, best fit line. Okay, so uh, this is it for me for my first video. And in the next video, I'm going to give you other examples.